Hello and welcome to Kushti TV, the Straight Talking YouTube channel. Today I'm talking straight about my fans. Yes, um, it's approaching around nine months since we've been in operation on the Kushti TV channel and it's going wonderfully well. We're gently, gently snowballing and I have some wonderful comments and I'm starting to find some very humbling things happen. Um, just walking in my town um, a couple of days ago, somebody recognises me and um, then another gentleman recognises me and then I go into my local Tesco store yesterday and somebody recognises me from TV Not, and they don't previously recognise me. I find it and they stop to say hello and shake my hand and I find it very very humbling. So um, this is an opportunity for me to thank my fans and I want to touch on some comments. Um, many of you ask me many questions and I often don't comment. It's for the mere fact that I don't digitally comment. I instruct my daughter to comment, but um, and I comment only here and there. And finding the time is not always easy for me because I live a busy life. Um, as you might well know, this is not my main stream business. I'm in the scrap metal business, so I juggle this around, which I very much enjoy. And um, all these humbling comments make it all that much worthwhile. One gentleman. Um, recently touched on why don't I do anything about Dan Rooney, um, the great knuckle fighter and the great knuckle fighter Bartley Gorman. Um, I was just touching that whilst I'm here. Um, well, the fact is, I know of Dan Rooney's great fight with Andy McGinley, very, very strong, um, fast, fit man. Not technically great, uh, but very, very good fighter. And um, didn't do too badly in that fight. It's the only fight I have knowledge of Dan. I don't know him, I haven't met him. Incidentally, he was friends with his first cousin Joe Looney, who was a very nice man. Sadly, sadly he lost his life in an accident. Very nice man. That's all I know on Dan Rooney. Um, I, will, I will at some point portray these gentlemen. And the great, brilliant Bartley Gorman. Again, um, I, I had no knowledge, of knowledge of it, of his, of who he was and his fights. Some of them, but only not really, only one knowledge of his bad mistreatment of a fight in Doncaster. Um, little in common with. Um, Bartley Gorman, God rest him, um, his great uncle, sorry, his uncle, um, Ticker Gorman, was my grandfather's good friend from both heavyweight fighters. And um, when he came to London and the South, um, South East, uh, he, you know, he was um, surrounded by the friendship of my grandfather and, and his friends. So that's my only connection there. So uh, the reason I haven't when I bring the characters into focus, it's stuff that I'm really aware of and I know of and I talk about fights. So hopefully that's cleared some of that up. And for all my fans that comment, I always read, and please keep um, commenting, I always read, but I, I don't have the digital technology to, maybe I'll learn it, but to write back and the time. Um, yeah, so to all my fans out there, thank you, thank you so much. And I've got one special mention to a fan. Um, I was absolutely shocked when I had these humbling experiences just recently in the town, my local town. I went into work and somebody said, there's something here for you. Um, it needs signing for, it was a, like a recorded delivery type thing. So when I get this special recorded delivery and I undo it and I'm taken back, I'm shocked. I'm shocked with nice emotion because um, what I'm about to reveal was a portrait that one of my fans painstakingly and beautifully had done um, a portrait of myself in a fight position um, this this was actually a real uh, fight fight position waiting for somebody to show in Felton West London and then he's got my fight name here Joe Bugner Smith my wonderful beautiful mother with a crystal ball my lovely lovely dad and his scrap metal truck angels looking out and protecting Christian Cross being a golf pose um, from boxing to birdies, the gypsy wagon wheel, yeah, my love of horses, and really, really, this image here of gypsy wagons is set in a scene right on the southeast London, Ken Border. It's, it's a scene of Cork's pit, all the wagons where my family um, they used to stay. I heard tells back in the day. It's absolutely wonderful. It means so much to me. 
and so I have to give thanks to all my fans but this huge huge thanks goes to a gentleman by the name of Danny Finch Danny mate I feel so indebted this is a wonderful wonderful um, portrait with all the detail in there it's a beautiful beautiful work so I really really thank you I'm assuming you've read my book if you haven't um, please allow me to get you two signed copies my um, comeback continues if it continues as it is you've got two um, seats on the house from me and I'd love to meet you and also um, in the future if you with your permission I want to show off some of your other wonderful wonderful work of a really really famous famous man in the fight world arguably the world's most famous today or well, at present should we say and his family so um, Danny boy um, and from yourself and all the lads in Footscray and Footscray um, is close to my heart because um, just where this site this image that corks his pit just up a little bit slightly on the hill um, lays to rest my great grandfather so it's close to me thanks Danny Finch so so much yeah and to all the boys in Footscray thank you this is a wonderful wonderful present and thank all my fans in the nicest way fans I don't expect you to um, deliver something like this this really is special but by you just commenting and being part of my team it's my opportunity to thank you all once again Danny thank you thank you so so much and if you reply to my um, email address inquiries at kushtv.co.uk okay so Danny I'd like you to reply to my email address which will be written in the description thank you thank you so much mate this means an awful lot you must have went a lot of work into this and um, please allow me to show you some appreciation yeah of this wonderful piece of work that will be with me forever I just now have one problem I don't know where to put it in my house my gym or my pub I don't know where to put it but today I'm getting a nice frame for it and um, this will stay with me forever yeah thank you thank you so much again mate well done, thank you.